Hey guys, Bad Dune 279 here. I just want to show you guys a preview on some of the stuff I'm going to be reviewing uh, this summer and you know in, in the coming weeks, months, and stuff like that. So, just want to show you guys a preview on some of the stuff I bought. So, uh, even some of the stuff doesn't fit in the frame. So, uh, I'm just going to show you guys real quick and just hover over. So, this is a Fox uh, 2.0. I don't know if you guys can see here, there's probably some glare in there. So Fox, this is your basic shock pump from Fox. The model number on it is 1509, so this is the num model number. I get an Oki a power supply that I still need to do a review on and some testing. Um, I got some Gonzo, yes, this is the same model number and this is the... Whoops, might as well zoom in there a little bit. G727M so the entire rat one clone so I really like the rat one and just the the knife itself it's just uh, so much fun I got two of them so when I really like something I usually end up getting two of them so um, you guys can see some bike saddle this is the Sela Etela X1 this is the one that came with my uh, Opus bike so not a bad saddle but I think I'm gonna sell this one because the cushioning is a little hard and you know I'm getting old so I, I need comfort so <laughs> so another one here is the Vader a uh, little bit more comfortable you can feel a little bit more gel and a little cushioning so this is the Vader you don't have any model number but when I ordered mine it said the Vader V uh, VD or something 108 108 so uh, this is something that's new uh, on the market, I don't know if that's the model number, if it's the 06, they got tons of different models, but when I ordered it from eBay, it says, um, it said 108, so I don't know what's that about, uh, but it looks like my, uh, a little bit, uh, narrower than, uh, the X1, but I don't know, it might be comfortable, I'm gonna have to try it. I also got some bug repellent, Netrapel, so this thing is really great, tried it before. I'm gonna have to do a review on it. So um, a few times I got out to the woods and some trails, hiking and stuff. That thing was really useful. So uh, I ordered another brand too, just to to uh, make a little comparison. Before I was using Off and you know product like that, Off and uh, Walk In and stuff like that, but didn't really like it. So uh, a little bit too smelly and. I mean, this thing's sticky a little, but it's pretty good and doesn't have the chemical component that the other one has. So, um, another thing is a Pfizer Super Grande tool. So this is for a bike, so mountain bike or any type of bike. I got my uh, X Star VC4, which I really like, and this is the second box unopened. It, this is the second one I bought uh, because sometimes I just don't buy stuff because. Uh, I really like him. Well, first of all, yes, I buy stuff because I really like him. But sometimes I buy stuff because I really like him and I get a good deal on it. If I get a good deal on something, I'm going to buy two. I can sell that thing in a year or two for the exact same price. I mean, I won't lose any money or I'll make some money if I sell it right away. So, you know, or you wait a few months for the price to go back up, then you sell it, you make a profit. So, anyways... Uh, I got Bike Planet's Red Zeppelin for CO2 adapter. I got PDW Shiny Object for another CO2 adapter. And a Wayside, uh, Blackburn Wayside, another CO2 adapter. So, And over here, this is something I received today in the mail. This is a Michelin uh, Digital Bike Air Jaw uh, Bicycle and Car, uh, you know, digital meter uh, gauge so you can uh, measure the pressure in either a bike or a car so which is really cool so I uh, tested it out works great for now I had some reports but it might be hit and miss and some lemons and stuff like that but up to now it works great guys and can't wait to show you guys how this works and finally the Blackburn uh, Air Tower 1 let me just switch that around so Blackbird Air Tower 1. This thing works pretty good. I can't wait to do a review on it and show you guys. So it's got an intelligent head, which it had on the other pump that I used, but the other pump didn't have that, the hose. So 
Uh, all I can say is that the gauge is not very accurate, so the gauge is the only issue here. It's a shame you can't just readjust the gauge because the gauge it's showing 40 psi and it's getting up to <laughs> it's getting up to 55 psi. So, uh, but you have to know where where to go for, with the gauge. So uh, once you know what pressure equals what real pressure, uh, you're good. So just some adjusting. I don't care about the if it's the, the gauge is perfect and it's got good uh, good you know measurements on it. So this is something I really care about. Took the red model because you know I, I like red. Like stuff that's red, dude. So, anyways, guys, quick video showing you guys some of the future stuff I have to review. Uh, I just gotta, you know, whip myself, a little uh, slap in the face, and get to, get to it, man. Just get her done. So I'm gonna have to to do some of those review in the future. But as you guys know, like this video right now, it comes in waves. So sometimes I do two, three videos in a day. Sometimes I just do one in, you know, two weeks or something. So. It just depends. And just FYI, after this one, I'm gonna make another deal video. So I show you guys some deals that I got on uh, Amazon. So uh, which something else <laughs> that I bought that's a little bit expensive. And uh, but I hate Amazon. I hate them. They know my weakness, man. Just price drops. If the price the price drop below a certain level, I fucking have to buy stuff, dude. It's not logical for me not to buy it, even though. I just bought a ton of stuff, man. Just fucking my money's dwindling down in my bank account. Ugh, I'm gonna have to cut. I think what this I'm gonna do this summer is just cut my TV services, man. No more TV. Once uh, Fear Walking Dead is gone, the episodes are gone. I think I'm just gonna cut the television and no more TV. I'm gonna try at least for a couple of months to see uh, if I can live without TV for a little while. So yeah, it will make me some some a uh, little bit uh, save me a little bit of money. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy uh, this little video and watch out for the next one that's coming up right after this one.